Well, I've been doing art festivals for um, over 20 years now, and as a as a livelihood, um, selling across the country. And um, I was born and raised in Pennsylvania, and I don't know how I first heard about the Arts Fest, but when I did, it just made sense that I came here, being that you know the majority of my family came to school here as well, and. Um, and I have a big connection to Pennsylvania, even though I don't live here any longer. Um, and so I came here probably about 12 years ago um, for the Art Fest, and I've been doing it ever since. And, and I love the show, love the quality, love the people. Um, and, uh, and I sell well, usually, here. So, um, so it just makes sense. Yeah. Well, it's my first art show uh, that I've ever done, but I'm a Penn Stater. Um, and I figured if I was going to do a show that I would come to uh, Penn State Arts Fest for the first first one. One, it's really hot in Florida, and that's where I live, and it's not too bad here. And then this is one of the better shows in the country to partake in. Well, I, I think it's a great draw. Evidently, I've, I've been talking to a lot of the artists. They come from all different parts of the country, and they all seem to think it's one of the preeminent art shows, art festivals in the country. And uh, they all seem to want to come back, you know, year after year. So um, I think that's awesome. It's done us very well every time we've been here. So it's well put on. The, the folk that do it do a really good job. It's organized. Um, they take care of you, bringing you water, all kinds of good stuff. So, and the community comes out to support the show also. So that's a plus. For me personally, my, my degree is in architecture, but I've always loved drawing and uh, model making. So, um, being able to incorporate both of those parts of, of the things I like into one uh, art medium is, is really exciting. And just coming into State College for the Arts Festival with all the excitement and the energy and the people and the music, it's, um, it's just a fun place to be. I like the, the moody, the, the poetic, the interpretive landscape. And what's my inspiration? I suppose the natural world is simply my inspiration and just the, the whole the language of the natural world and sometimes when we're quiet and we're way off in far off places um, we could witness we can witness these these moods and um, and feelings um, that the natural world evokes and so I do my best to you know express that I consider this to be sculpture but it is a scrap metal animal sculpture mm -hmm. so we take bits and pieces of old used tools and silverware and engine parts and then turn them into animals. So whatever degree of art somebody is, is has in their lives um, or whatever age they, they are, it's like, it's really cool to, to have this art fest as an experience to, to digest and to look up to and, to, and how, how that manifests in, in people's lives um, is yet to be known. But I think it really does, it like, it, it it puts out there this creative possibility, you know? And me, for instance, I never knew these were possibilities growing up, you know, in an old school farming family, you know? Um, but to be able to see this breadth of creativity is, I don't know, quite beautiful.